Hey guys, it's Ken Perry with The Knowledge Cube and I thought I would take a second and break down how you're running your company communication now versus how it gets done in the coop. So let's start with the way questions are asked. Right now a lot of you are using email to ask questions. Some of you have set up a scenario desk where you could ask a question to a scenario desk and then get that reply. Well, that's great and, and you could do it, but what happens is the email goes out and then the, the information's dead. So if I send an email one to one, it's going to a scenario desk that may answer it for me, but everybody else is missing out on that answer. Even if you group everybody in that scenario thing, number one, you get a gang of emails, but then number two, you're still, it's dead. Any new people that come into the company don't get any of that information. So the information just dies right there. In the Knowledge Coop, everything is indexed. So if I asked a question in the Knowledge Coop, it's actually going to be directed towards the person who can answer it, but not only that, it's going to be there forever and it becomes a conversation. So it's an on-demand search where I can just go in and search for everything, let's just say RESPA. I go search for everything that is RESPA and I'm actually going to find everything that was ever asked and answered in the system. It allows you to do it in a global environment where everybody can see everything and contribute to the conversation. All right, so that's how you're doing questions. Let's look at documents. Right now, most of uh, the people out there are using some sort of either SharePoint or some sort of drive-based system, where somebody has to click on like H Drive and then uh, Policies and then, you know, and they just go down this giant chain of things. With the Knowledge Coop, all you do is you upload every document you, you have, every document you want people to see. Once you've uploaded all those documents, each one of them is indexed in the system. So if I type in any word, and let's use RESPA again, it's gonna show me every single document that's in there that is, is either has has RESPA as a tag or RESPA is a word in that document. So no longer do you have to go down some giant chain of folders, you just type in a word and you can find every document in your company videos. Right now a lot of people are not using videos and they really need to be. If you look at YouTube and how it's made people famous, I mean there are people on YouTube who just shoot YouTube videos who just are like super famous just because they're on YouTube. Uh, think about that within your company. If you're shooting a video where people can see your face and get to know you, they have that like connection with you. It's really strange how that works. If you're not doing video right now, then I think you're really missing out. Whereas with the Knowledge Cube, you can upload a YouTube video that everybody could watch. You could upload a video right off your, your webcam. You could upload a video that's a screencast. So let's say you want to do some training on Encompass. You just put your little screencast box around Encompass and you could actually just do a walkthrough of the system. So if you get a lot of system questions, that's probably because you're not doing enough systems training. You could do it really easily with the Knowledge Cube. So that's how you're doing videos right now. Now let's talk about how you're, you're doing your groups or how you're collaborating in groups. What most people do is they set up like Region 1 or the Irvine branch or whatever in their email system. Problem with this is if that email goes out, number one, it goes to everybody in that group. Number two, anybody new to the group doesn't have access to all that information that was really valuable when you sent it. So you end up with these emails that just kind of get stored on different people's individual servers. Some people just save them and never delete email, which then just clogs that whole thing up. With the Knowledge Cube, you break all your people out by group. So let's say you've got underwriters. Put all your underwriters in one group and that those underwriters can then communicate just between each other. You can even make it private. So the underwriters are just talking back and forth. They can upload documents and videos for each other. They can have conversations. They can interact. They can collaborate. This makes all of your underwriters more productive because they're able to get answers from each other faster. So rather than having some email thing where you have to go, I don't know if you've ever typed an email out and you got the address wrong. I know I have. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore. You just go into the group and then just ask the question in the group. So that's how you're doing that, uh, those, those groups. Let's talk about how you're doing continuing education. For those of you who have loan officers who take CE, we hear from them all the time when you say, oh, how, how exciting is your CE? And they just go, what? That's crazy exciting. What you're probably doing now is you like click something and then you surf Facebook, Facebook for five minutes while that thing just kind of sits there. And then you click something again and then do something different. You're not learning. So people don't actually learn from a lot of the CE that's out there. With the Knowledge Cube, what we do is we shoot great videos where we're actually giving you real information. It's me talking to you, it's fun spoof videos, it's, it's stuff that keeps you interactive, but also it's like watching a movie and you're learning. So deep information that is the latest and it's not old stuff that was like, Russell was 1974. Nobody really cares. What we care about is how it will affect my business. So constant up-to-date information delivered in a really good way. That's how we do CE. 
Let's talk about your training. So you wrap that all together. Take questions and, and you, take, you take documents, you take videos. That really becomes your training. But think of it more as learning. How are your people learning? So rather than you requiring them, like you're, a lot of you are doing right now, requiring them to watch some one or two hour module on something that has nothing to do with them, how about you take some of the videos and the documents that you've already uploaded into the coop and you just assign those to people. It's super easy. Take one of your videos, create what we call a to-do, assign that to-do to a person or a group of people, and then track it through reporting. So if you want everybody to learn something, and let's say it's a four minute video you'd like everybody to watch, just upload the video, record it right off your webcam, and assign it to people to show that they've watched it. You guys, learning should be done every day. If you're looking at training as something that you hate doing and you have to do these two hour modules, you're just doing it wrong. Within the Knowledge Coop, all you gotta do is upload information you want people to see, assign it to them, and then you can prove that they've watched it and that they've seen the information you wanted. Super easy because it should not be that tough. If you're sitting around waiting for three weeks for IT to upload something into your system, you're doing it wrong. Go to the Knowledge Coop. It's where we collaborate. It's where we grow organizations. It's where people do onboarding training. It's where they do new hire. It's where they do loan officers uh, training. It's where they do sales training. It's the way that your company will communicate. We look forward to seeing you in the Coop.